Hi, I'm Nestor J. Panag of the Mechanical Engineering Department, College of Engineering, Xavier University. Your M87 instructor for this semester, school year 2020-2021. Fluid Mechanics We will be discussing what is Fluid Mechanics. Fluid Mechanics in Physics and Engineering, the term Fluid Mechanics refers to the study of the behavior of fluids, either at rest or in motion. We have units, interna international system, and the U.S. system of measurement. In length, we have meter, and uh, uh, we have various various measurement: time, area in square meter, volume cubic met meter, uh, mass in kilogram, force kilogram meter per second square, or Newton and weight in kilogram or in Newton and uh, pressure in Newton per square meter and so on. So we will be using uh, SI units prefixes. G means giga and M that's mega, K kilo. M milli uh, micro and we have macro for US system of units we have the length in foot time in seconds force in pound mass mass pound mass or slug pressure pressure is the amount of force exerted per unit area. It is uh, mathematically expressed as P equals F over A. Two important principles referred to as Pascal's law. First, pressure acts uniformly in all directions on a small volume of fluid. Two, in a container, pressure acts perpendicular to the boundary. Now we have in figure one, we have different shape of containers. We have the furnace duct, the pipe or tube, heat exchanger, reservoir, the swimming pool, the dam, and fluid power cylinder. As you have seen, uh, the pressure acts perpendicular to the boundary. Now we have an example. If the total weight is 500 Newton and the area of the piston is 2,500 square millimeter, what is the pressure on the fluid? So P equals 500 the weight or the force divided by the area that is 2,500 square millimeter or equals 0 0.2 Newton per square millimeter or equals to 0 0.2 Newton times 10 to the 6 Newton per square meter that is about uh, 0 0.2 Newton times 10 to the 6 Pascal or 0 0.2 megapascal since Pascal is equal to Newton per square meter density we know that uh, density equals to uh, mass per unit volume or we term it rho is a unit is in density is kilogram per cubic meter and the U.S. units is equal to 5 pounds per second square, square foot per cubic foot 
or slugs per cubic foot. Density of water changes with temperature. Specific weight. The weight per unit, per, per unit volume of a substance is termed as specific weight or gamma. R is equal to weight per unit volume. And is a unit that is newton per cubic meters or kilonewton per cubic meters. Or in is a unit, it's pounds per cubic foot. The relationship between density and specific weight is equal is that a specific weight equals rho times g or density times gravity. A specific gravity. It is the ratio of density of a substance to the density of water, or the ratio of the specific weight of a substance to the specific weight of water. The density of water standard of water at 4 degrees is equal to 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. Specific weight of water at 4 degrees centigrade is 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. Surface tension. It is a pri property by which droplets of water or water molecules adhere to each other and other surfaces. When water molecules stick to each other, it's called cohesion. When they stick to other substance, it is a, this is adhesion. Surface ten tension varies with temperature decreases with the increase in temperature. So we have figure 2 uh, surface tension. It shows uh, water in surface in surface tension. Viscosity. It is the property of fluid that determines its motion. Highly viscous, viscous fluid move slowly and less viscous fluid moves fast. Viscosity influences the shear stress of movement. Shear stress, the force between the two planes as they move over each other. So we have the in figure 3, we have the fluid and with respect to the x-axis, we have the delta V and with respect to the ordinate, we have the delta Y. And we have this relationship, uh, uh, the, the, the flow of fluid and uh, the sharing stress which uh, is influenced uh, by, uh, by the viscosity of fluid. Shear stress or tau is proportional to the velocity gradient. Tau is equal to mu times delta V over delta Y. Or delta mu or mu is equal to tau over delta V over delta Y. Or mu is equal to the units for mu is newton per square meter that is uh, multiplied by meter per over meter per second that gives us newton seconds per square meter or pascal seconds the mu is referred to as dynamic viscosity units of mu newton seconds per square meter or pascal seconds or kilogram per meter seconds or equal to one poise kinematic viscosity we term it new. It is the ratio of dynamic viscosity to the density of fluid. So, the kinematic viscosity is equal to the mu or dynamic viscosity divided by rho or density. Units of kinematic viscosity is equal to the square meter per second. Viscosity varies with temperature. Lower viscosity under higher temperatures. Sometimes, when units for dynamic viscosity are 
mu are being combined with other terms, especially density. It's convenient to express mu or dynamic viscosity in terms of kilogram rather than newton, since 1 newton is equal to 1 kilogram meter per second squared. Mu can be expressed as so mu or dynamic or dynamic viscosity newton times seconds per square meter or that is newton seconds per square meter or pascal seconds is equal to uh, kilogram meter per second squared that is one newton multiplied by uh, seconds per square meter and it gives us kilogram per meter second. Compressible fluids. They are fluids with variable density. And compressible fluids are fluids with constant density. They could be liquids and gas gases or other or the change in density with pressure is so small as to be negligible. This is usually the case with liquids. Gas may also be considered incompressible when pressure by variation is small compared with the absolute pressure. Thank you, Thank you for listening and good day.